Hi guys, Andy Carter here, PGA Teaching Professional at Trafford Golf Centre and this is the second part of how not to slice the ball series. Uh, if you've not seen part one, just go back and check it out first because it'll make a big, big difference to how you can um, prevent that slice shot from happening. We can't just go straight to the downswing. We need to make sure the backswing is in a nice position. So what we've already worked on, just to give you a quick recap, we've already worked on making sure that club is coming away from the ball in a nice straight path. So we've made sure that the, we've created lots of width, we've got the club going parallel back towards the target and we've got a nice wide top of the backswing position, okay? If, from that position now, we need a lot of lower body movement. A lot of swings will get to here and the arms will go first. You'll get to the top and you'll try and hit that ball as much as you possibly can, or as hard as you can. So we're going to try and make sure we've got a little slightly better timing. What I've done here, I've teed the ball up just to give us a bit of a helping hand. We don't need to be trying to strike it perfectly off the grass just yet. We're just trying to build the swing to start with. Then we can work on ball striking, okay? So from, from the setup from, last, from the last video, nice wide takeaway. I've still got that tee there as well, so it's just keeps staying in my head. There's a, a nice little visual just to remind me. Top of the backswing. Now the first movement from here, I'm trying to get my right elbow coming into my side and my hips going out towards the target. So from the top of the backswing, the first movement, my weight shifted to my left side, my hands can now come on the inside. Straight away you can see my hands are ahead of the club, they're ahead of the shafts, the shafts leaning towards the target. So long term I'm starting to generate a, a much better impact position so I can get a much more of a penetrating ball flight. But for the moment I'm trying to make sure that my weight's got to my left side so I can hit down on the ball and my hips are going to rotate and the club's going to approach the angle from a much straighter swing path angle, okay? So again, using, yesterday, using the drill from yesterday, or the, la the last video, swing straight back over the tee, swing up to the top, hips are going to push out towards the target. As you can see now, the club's coming back on the inside of this tee. Okay, so we're trying to make it from an in-to-out path to create that draw. So from the top of the back swing, hips coming in, hands from the inside, and we're trying to swing across the line of the ball. So get the club going to the, the right-hand side of the target. That right-hand side, that right hand side swing path will create the right to left shape, okay? So again, keeping the, keeping the drill nice and soft. Over the tee, hips coming in first, and we'll get the nice little draw shape. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Please leave some comments below. Anything you want to ask some questions about where you're up to, even just send in a couple of videos just so we can kind of see your progress. More than happy to have a quick look at a couple of videos for you. Um, please subscribe to the channel, add me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter also. Guys, thank you for watching. See you again soon.